Hello, my Leos. Welcome to September. You guys are going to feel so much better this month. I promise. Everyone is because eclipse season is over. Mercury is direct and Mars is direct. Right as we head into the month. But for you guys especially, this is important because eclipse season dramatically changed your life. I mean, we had a, a July 27th eclipse in your partnership sector, and then we had an August 11th eclipse in your sign, and Mercury was retrograde in your sign, and Mars was retrograde for the most part in your partnership sector. So, holy shit, there's no doubt about it. You had major transitions in relationship, business, and personal. And it was really chaotic. I have to say, for you Leos, oh my God, the level of drama and chaos and instability, even if it ultimately turned into a positive situation for you with relationship, there had, there certainly was no stability. And now that we're into September, you know where you stand with a person, whether it's a business relationship or a personal relationship. So the good news is you know where you stand. Mars is going to re-enter your partnership sector on the 10th. And this time, instead of fighting a fight that you, you can't win, because with Mars retrograde in your partnership sector, there's all lots of resentment and internal anger that just exploded in the wrong way for you guys. Okay, but now that Mars is direct, you can have a good, clean fight for the most part and clear the air. Okay, a good, clean fight, sometimes it has to happen to clear the air. I am an Aries rising woman, so I know that sometimes you just got to have the fight. And that could be the case for you in a partnership. So now that Mars is direct and moving back into your, se your seventh house on the 10th until November 15th, you're motivated with this relationship. Okay, you want to make it work. If it's lasted this long, if it has survived the chaos of the summer, you are certainly motivated to make it work. I will say that. And you have the potential to make it work. There is a little danger zone period, okay, that's happening September 18th, and I want you to give it the day before and the day after. Wrap your relationship in bubble wrap and just... Put duct tape over your mouth and stay away from your partner in your personal life. I do think, however, that this is really affecting you in your business life. I'm not, I'm not really concerned as much about your personal relationship with this energy. It's more business because Mars will be squaring Uranus. And Uranus is at the top of your... Your career sector, the 10th house. And with this square... There's a volatile energy. It's sudden craziness, sudden chaos. And it is absolutely directed in a business partnership or with a client. You guys might be calling it quits. Especially if that July 27th eclipse really brought things to a head for you in a business relationship. It's, it's, it might be done. You might just put the final nail in the coffin right around September 18th because that square is not pretty. It is angry and volatile and impulsive and, and it, you just might be done, okay? It's very likely if you're in a business where you, where you have a business partnership connection. And if so, let it go. Remember, guys, with Uranus at the top of your chart, there's so many changes in career for you. And that's going to last years. So you've got to get used to the fact that there'll be a lot of excitement, a lot of growth, but a lot of unpredictability as well as you reach these new heights professionally. So that energy is there for you. There's also going to be a new moon on the, on the ninth that could be really interesting for you financially. It falls in your second house of earned income, and it is a really good time to ask for a raise. If you're in business for yourself, launch a new product or service, or increase your rates if you're thinking about doing that. 
it's a time where you are moving forward with delivering your value. You want to be productive. You want to be valuable. Virgo energy needs to be useful. Okay, so you are initiating something now that you can monetize, but that makes you feel like you have a purpose. And that's key. You know, the happiest people in the world are connected to their purpose in life. And there's something about Virgo energy where many Virgos have strong sense of purpose because they often lead lives of service. So there's something connected to a purpose in life and serving others in some way. And now that this new moon is falling in your second house, Leo, I feel like there's a new opportunity for you to connect to this part of your life. And it will be very positive and inspirational. So on the same day, Venus moves into Scorpio and your fourth house of home, family, real estate. Ooh, okay. So now, Leo, the two luckiest planets of the Zodiac, Venus and Jupiter, are both going to be in your fourth house. Okay, there is a very real possibility that your living situation is going to dramatically, dramatically improve. You might get the house of your dream if you are house hunting. You, whoever you live with, there's going to be a lot of harmony. There might be really good news uh, from somebody in your family. And it could be financial and it could benefit you. All of this is happening. I mean, Venus in your fourth house with Jupiter, even though they're not going to be in exact alignment, just the fact that both of these lucky planets are in the same part of your chart is energizing it with all sorts of goodness. And I want you guys to take advantage of that goodness because the happiest Place for you in September is at home. It is with the people in your tribe. It is connecting with your relatives, with the people that you live with, or with a home family situation. Now, it, in terms of your relationship, if you and your partner live together and things have been rough and crazy, like I suggested they might have been for the past couple of months, there is a good chance that Venus here will help restore the harmony. So that's great. Nice. I like it. I'll take it for you guys. So on the 24th, there's a full moon in Aries in your ninth house of higher education. Some of you might be quitting school in order to focus on work. See, this full moon is square Saturn, and Saturn is in your sixth house of work, jobs. Um, I get the sense for some of you that an educational pursuit is blocked or is going to be discarded. You're going to move away from that because of work. You're choosing to work instead. You're, uh, it, for some of you, it might be fulfillment, you know, finishing up a, a educational opportunity. But because it's September, I, I mean, unless you were in school to get some kind of license or certification, I don't see how that would fit, that you're getting it, that, you know, of course, if let's say you apply for a real estate license and you went to school, that could be any time of the year. But in if it's college, if it's an advanced degree, there's some kind of turning point here. You might let go of that educational pursuit. This could also be a frustrating situation if you're involved in a legal matter. If you are involved in a legal matter, it does look a bit stressful for you right around September 24th, that full moon. Uh, but you will get through it, okay? This could also be a difficult time for you with training, if you're in some kind of training situation with, with your work. You, there's a, there's a test here with your integrity, with your morals, and you might get a talking to from your boss. There might be some kind of a review you know how they give employee reviews sometimes? There might be a little bit of criticism that you didn't expect right around this full moon. But, and I know Leos don't like to hear that. I'm not trying to bruise your ego. I'm just looking at the astrology and honestly examining it for you, the potential. Okay. I am seeing a lot of forward movement, though, for you guys with work. Saturn 
and Pluto both go direct in your sixth house of work and health. Saturn on the sixth, Pluto on the thirtieth. There's a lot of power there because you know Saturn going direct is at a gorgeous angle to Uranus at the top of your chart. Between that and the new moon in your earned income sector, there could be a step a step up for some of you. There could be an opportunity to pursue career goals in a really strong way. It's like I see both breaks in partnership career-wise for you possibly. I see letting go of something educational possibly. And I but yet at the same time at the same time guys I don't see this as, as hurting you in the long run. I feel like you are you have a plan a purpose that you want to fulfill in terms of your work and your career and you're going to start to move towards that in September. All right? So I hope you guys enjoyed your forecast. If I could ever help you in a personal consultation, do not hesitate to reach out to me, insightfulastrology.com. And until next month, I love you guys.